What's up, Comic Universe DPZ, Roland Solo again, and this time I'm going to be talking about some more MK11 news. We got, uh, technically two new character- well, it's actually one reveal- uh, one character reveal, and the other one was a character we already knew was going to be in the game, but we got some moveset for him, um, and yeah, so the character- reveal I'm going to talk about first and foremost, and that is the Collector. Now, the Collector we've seen in trailers here and there for story mode, but we never really saw what he could do and what his character was like. Well, I'm here to tell you that basically the Collector is pretty much Outworld's equivalent of uh, of Larflees. He is pretty much Larflees, the, uh, the Orange Lantern, because this dude just wants everything. He just takes everything and doesn't want to give anything back. He's apparently loyal to Shao Kahn, um, and he is a kind of like a Shokan in that he has four arms, but I don't think they called him a Shokan, they called him something else. Like, he's a... I think they called him like a subspecies of Shokan, so he's not like Goro or Kintaro or Shiva. Uh, so that's cool. I actually like his moveset. He's very much not like a strong brawler character. He's very much like a trap character where he's using different, uh, weapons. Like, his backpack has all these different weapons and tools at his disposal, and he's basically been stealing artifacts from out Outworld and been using them in his personal arsenal, because apparently this fucker can't fight, so might as well, you know, gear up, right? <laughs> so, I think he's an interesting character. He's, he's, uh, he's gangly, he's ugly, he's very much Larflees and Gollum put together, so, yeah, he's a decent amount, he's a decent enough character, I really like it. The Fatality was fine, um, not my favorite. So far, uh, Cetrion's Fatality has just been the most balls-to-the-wall insane, um, and that one was really good. That one's been the, my favorite Fatality so far we've seen. Um, I also like, uh, about the Collector is that, like I said, He's got all this ancient weaponry, and I'm hoping that comes into play of explaining, like, has this dude been raiding temples throughout Outworld and taking shit for himself? That could be the case. Um, something like that, I think. Uh, something that that is very possible. Um, it looks cool. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it looks cool. Um, we also got more with Noob Cybot, nothing wrong with that. I enjoy me some Noob. Um, it was nice to see more of Mo Noob's Mo Noob set. Move sets, excuse me. Um, but um, it was nothing we hadn't seen already from the uh, his original character reveal. That was my big thing. The only thing that was kind of new was one of his variation costumes, in which uh, it, it's very much reminiscent of his original MK costume from the original MK games. So that was really the only big oh my god moment. And then we get my boy Aaron Black. This was great. This is probably my favorite. Now, I really like Aaron Black. The idea of this immortal guy from Earthrealm who's now working for Outworld, and it looks like he's going to play a bigger part in here, and hopefully they explain his immortality and how he got from Earthrealm to Outworld and now serving whoever hires him. He's very much like the Cad Bane of the MK universe, in that he'll, he'll work for you so long as you pay him. Um, it also looks like he might have his own group now, so that'll be cool. Um, I also like one of his new throws, in that he steps on your foot and lights a stick of dynamite, and you, like, end up tossing your hand and blows up in your face. I was like, they had to have been watching a shit ton of Looney Tunes for that, like, to get that idea. Also, his new look is very- I know he was very cowboy-esque in the past. Um, he was very, you know, supposed to be like an immortal cowboy, but they- they really ramped it up in this game. They really ramped it up in this one with the new look because he looks straight out of um, out of Red Dead Redemption. He looks straight if uh, he could be a DLC special character for Red Dead Redemption, which when you see guest characters these days, I would not put it past Rockstar to go to Mortal, Co you know, to go to uh, Warner Brother Games and be like, hey, can we have if we do a story mode, can we have a uh, Aaron Black as a guest star in the game. Yeah, I believe it. I mean, Troy Baker, who I think is coming back to voice Aaron, um, was also a voice actor in Red Dead Redemption and the, and the sequel. So wouldn't it be so fucking cool if, like, um, Aaron showed up in a, in a, like, DLC expansion pack of... of, um... 
of Red Dead Redemption. I can't believe the word got away from me. Like, I mean, and you know, I, I know what you're thinking. That's really stupid. But this is the same, you know, Rockstar also did a zombie, you know, uh, undead nightmare, remember? So, wouldn't it be like the one up that you have it, like, cross over with Mortal Kombat and have, like, Aaron Black in, um, you play as Aaron Black who has stumbled into the Red Dead Redemption universe, and he's just, because it would make sense, like, all of his fire, his, all of his guns and shit, like, it's all, except for the Winchester, and that's really more updated, but really, all of his weaponry and shit, it's perfect for a Red, for a Red Dead Redemption, uh, game, it's perfect. So, yeah, I know that sounds completely insane, but like I said, they had a zombie game, so, like, have a DLC where you don't play, uh, play, uh, you just play as Aaron Black, um, in the, in the, uh, Red Dead Redemption universe. Yeah. Just, just think about how cool that would be, and, like, how much that would make sense. <laughs> I know you're, like, I put that thought in your head now, and now you're thinking, oh, oh no, I want that now. I want that now. Oh God! <laughs> yeah. So another good, um, good old uh, lineup for MK11. It's shaping up to be quite the roster. Uh, so you guys tell us here at Comic Universe, what do you guys think of Aaron Black in uh, back in uh, Mortal Kombat 11? Did you like him? Did you want to see more of him? Also, what do you think of the move set for Noob Cybot? And of course, what did you think of the new character, the Collector? Was he worth the wait? Because I know a lot of characters like, oh, a lot of people are like, oh, that's the Collector. Oh, I can't wait to see what he's like. So did he live up to your expectations? Did he not? Uh, just comment below, let us know. Uh, as always, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm DPZ, and we will see you right here once more in the universe.